Hello, this week I'll be taking you guys on a brief tour around my neighborhood. If you guys don't already know, I live in the Shindong area, which I find to be quite diverse. My apartment is located between two schools slash academic facilities, so if you look out the window during specific parts of the day, you are likely to see students running around in the field or leaving school. The building I live in is actually attached to a 7-Eleven, which makes it really convenient to pick up some snacks or a quick dinner. A little further down is Entrance 11 Shindong Station for Line 2 and Line 6. Line 2 pretty much gets you anywhere, so I'm super grateful that I was able to live close to a train station. In this video, I also walk past a few more entrances to Shindong Station. I think it's handy to have all these exits as the transit system labels their location pretty well and reduces the traffic by a fair amount. Next to the station is a decent sized mall, but I haven't gotten the chance to explore it yet. Walking down even further, there is another convenience store, a pharmacy, a Burger King, Starbucks, and an Olive Young. It helps to have some familiar names in a foreign country and make me feel a little more at home. I'm also guilty of making some late night runs to Burger King just because of how close by they are and how convenient they are with their hours. A lot of food places in Korea close by 9 to 10 p.m. So having a few places open 24 hours helps when I find myself staying up late. Same thing goes for convenience stores. I'm not sure how accurate this is, but the 7-Eleven downstairs is open 24 hours Anyways, I find this arrangement to be super convenient. Although it's not exactly on my block, it is close enough of a walk that it isn't a hassle. Despite living in a building with a 7-Eleven, I like having the option of another convenience store in case something I was craving is gone. Starbucks is a decent location for studying if my Wi-Fi goes down, and having a pharmacy nearby is a godsend. I remember the few weeks of being sick in Korea and they have been helpful in my time of need. So yeah, a great handful of places to live close to. The only downside is that I need to walk a little further for an actual meal, not fast food or baked goods. Now, for the interesting part of this neighborhood, if you walk further down on the other side, you'll start to see more lower scale shops. By this, I mean you'll find small food stands set up selling street foods, such as fish cake, kimbap, egg bread, and red bean pancakes. Nearby, there are streets upon streets of humble shops with clothing and other knickknacks. This footage goes on for another few minutes of this, but I'll spare you the repetition. If you cross the bridge to the other side of the street, you'll find similar shops. I actually never knew that between these two long shopping streets was a river of some sort until I shot this video. Interestingly, there were a fair amount of worn out and vacant storefronts on the other side of the street. I also wandered off into a side street and I found a super niche street. Every store here sells fish tanks and aquatic pets. I never knew that there was such demand for this market, but here it is. Overall, I find Shindong to be such a mixed neighborhood. If I recall correctly, it is known for their topoki, which is a stir-fried rice cake, a popular street food here in Korea. Lots of the food carts lined up near the school could be found selling these. There's so much variety in the sense that if you cross a certain point, You'll step into a lower scale area, while the other side is more metropolitan. Maybe a 10 minute walk away is a large tourist area, Dongdae Moon Plaza, where there are tons of malls and luxury shopping. There's definitely something for everyone around this area. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the extremely brief tour, and thanks for watching. See you guys in the next vlog.